Yeah, I, this is my um, opinion, sort of tongue in cheek. I think it's uh, disingenuous and frivolous that the town has to go to this type of um, uh, action to um, curtail uh, political signage. I don't think we've ever had in this town anyone complain about political signs. <coughs> Do you know of anyone who has complained in the recent past regarding political signs? I don't know of anybody. Well, but people in this room, notwithstanding. Uh, you're right. Okay. okay. Prior, to, prior to the one that Tom put up. But yeah, what? what no. Well, of course. But I mean, okay. this is testimony from a member of the public. We, want, we may want to let him finish this. I, my apologies. If you want me to answer that now or later, Mr. Atkin, that's your choice. Okay. You can answer it now. Okay. In the uh, recent past, most recent past. In the last year, October. I believe it's 13, uh, 2010, there was a complaint filed uh, which started this process. Oh, I mean, Crawford's before this, though. Before, before, before 2010. Right. I don't know. I'm not I'm right. only aware of October 2010. Right. And, and what, I'm, what I want to bring out here is one political party or one person with a political philosophy different than the political sign that was up lodged a complaint signed by Mr. Clark from what I understand, which was a conflict of interest. But what I want to bring out is most people in town understand that political signs come out sometime in maybe the 1st of October. They are taken down sometime in um, early November after the election. They put thank you on them, thank you very much, and they take them down. And what we're doing here is you're taking people's right to express their opinion guaranteed by the Constitution. But I want to make one um, point here, which you realize McCain-Feingold, which limited political speech, um, was a um, law put through to do that. And Michael Moore put together a, if you want to call it this, an advertisement, but it was allowed by the FEC, which was the um, election, Federal Election Commission. But when um, Citizens United put together the same type of um, a documentary to take um, action or to rally support against Hillary Clinton when she was running against president, the appellate, the first court, then the appellate court ruled that that was illegal, but it went to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court ruled in favor of Citizens United. So that basically is what happening is exactly what's happening here. You're having a faction, a faction of, of people with one political philosophy <coughs> trying to imprint on others what you would like them not to do. The Democratic Party and the liberals, etc., have tolerance only for people who agree with their philosophy. Okay? But, and, but, and, but and Cliff, can you, can you restrict your comments? Okay. To the and so anyway, um, I support the defeat of the regulations. It's clear that we need to start over again, which I just uh, basically uh, said. And I urge the repeal of political signage uh, 75101. And I'd like to just say, you know, part of the executive, uh, executive session, when the commissioners come back, they have to state what type of decision or actions were made in that executive session. Uh, let me which just remind made. you, because the commission is not allowed by law to take any actions whatsoever in executive session. So they were not. They weren't. You're right. But you didn't say that, though, when you came back. I'm sorry, Judge. No. I uh, didn't think I had to say Thank you. You want to speak up? Oh, I'll wait till the folks are done. Um, I was agreeing with you about that voting. Nancy? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Nancy Mackey, 55 Woodbury Hill. This is somewhat redundant, but I'd like to say it anyway. I su uh, support the defeat of all proposed regulations. It's clear to me that we need to start over and have all commissioners involved in writing them. I am also bothered by the refusal of Martin Overton to release relevant legal opinions so the public can review all relevant information. I also urge repeal of the political sign regulation 7.5.10.1. Thank you, Nancy. Yes. Carol. Oh, Carol. I'm going to act real stupid. Why did we start to rewrite these regulations? What prompted it? Oh, how long have you got? <laughs> well, the reason I'm saying that is I sat on the sign committee years ago, maybe 10 or more years past, yeah. it was a group of people, all different mix of people, including folks from the Zoning Commission, and we worked for over a year. We all got together, we argued, we weren't happy with one another, but we all worked it through. And I think that's what's happened here. 
is it feels as though something has been created by a small piece of people or group of people, and now you're trying to provide that to all of us. We really don't know what it impacts. It may, and, and we've sprinkled in a little bit of agriculture and somebody can't have something else on their house that's bigger than this or whatever. What was the purpose of this? And when can we do it again? Are we going to be told that, gee, we only do this every five or ten years? All right. So now you have to live with this for that long? Let me try and take your, your questions in order. Um, essentially, there are three kinds of regulations being proposed. Um, one set of regulations is, the, is, is it an amendment to the Woodbury, Town of Woodbury Aquifer Protection District regulations in response to a statute change. The state passed a new law requiring us to act and to adopt a map with certain aquifer protection districts in it. We're required by law to do that. That's number one. Number two is other regulation changes are based on a whole lot of statutory changes where we have to bring our regulations in line with statute. And then and basically the planning staff looked after that in this case. The third is since the regulations were last approved, which is actually only in 2010, right? Yeah. I think it was May yeah. 2010. May 2010. Um, issues have come before the Planning Commission, issues have come before the Z Zoning Board of Appeals, and issues have come in front of the Zoning Commission where we, or any of those mentioned, felt that the, the written regulation did not adequately reflect what the town's intention were intentions were, and so that a regulation language change should be made. And, and so other regulations, like the sign regulation, for example, is a way of saying that the existing language doesn't actually convey exactly what we're trying. These regulation changes try to do that. So those are the really three types of regulations that are all on tonight's agenda. For, for, that's why we did it. Okay. As far as the schedule is concerned, okay? The Zoning Commission is, is in charge of its own schedule, so we can amend our regulations as frequently or as infrequently as we see fit in the best interest of the town. There is no statutory five or ten years or anything like that applies to us. Mr. Chairman, may I speak? Well, if um, Carol is finished. It, it's in yeah, okay. okay, it's a follow-up question to Carol. Ms. Bacon, yeah. uh, were you, I wasn't clear, were you asking who wrote the regulations? Was that a question you were asking no, of the commission? No, I was commission? asking why, what forced the reason to rewrite them. And perhaps I think what you're getting for a response from several people, most of us, is that it's felt that perhaps the input wasn't there that should have or could have been there. Thank you. 